High above the streets of Addis Ababa, you can find two metal domes. They house ultra-modern telescopes and have only been operational for a few months. The specialized equipment is a fast for East Africa and it's put Ethiopia among a small group of African countries to have embarked on a space program. It is an integral part of any development cycle. Uh, without the help of science and technology, that, uh, I'm afraid that uh, nothing can be achieved uh, uh, to mass scale. So uh, our main priority has always been to inspire the youngster, young scientists and the kids and, and everything to be involved. The program has been funded by Ethiopian Saudi tycoon Mohammed Alamudi. It's been running since 2004 to promote astronomy and to provide a technical boost to the country. The people's idea was to say they are crazy because at that time the Ethiopia needed, not, needed to be full security. The attention of the government, the attention of the higher authority is to secure food. Then since we are a poor, then this is not a time to start space and technology program. This was the idea. The space applications are very fundamental. We cannot postpone it. We cannot postpone it. We have, because postponing that means we are, we are allowing our, ourselves to live in poverty. At Ethiopia's Institute of Technology in the northern town of Mekele, scientists plan to test flight the first Ethiopian rocket to go more than 30 kilometers into the sky, although that is still far from the 100-kilometer frontier beyond which the Earth's atmosphere gives way to space. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.